Hey Simi Night Raven here and today we are doing a June haul. Today I have a bunch of items that have literally just arrived from my postman. I have had a look at them to see whether they're all okay and we have no problems as I can see. If you don't know what June is, June is a shopping app. Um, basically um, you get really cheap items from Japan or China or somewhere around there um, and you don't have to pay shipping. All you do is pay for the price of the item, which is awesome because we love free shipping. So there's no shipping on any item. You literally just pay for the item. If you want to check out that app, you can. If you go onto Google Play, you can find the Joom shopping app or you can go on your laptop or your phone um, and you will find a range of items there. If you want to know more about Joom, I do have a Joom tutorial in my June playlist which I will link at the end if you want to know more ins and outs about June and how you can save yourself money and get rewards and just how to use the app I do have a June app tutorial so in today we have one two three four five with six items which is good going um, my June items are coming thick and fast now and some of my wish items I'm getting into the swing of ordering them and having them arrive so I can do a video at least once a week at the minute Sometimes more it all depends how the shipping goes obviously, you know shipping is dependent And so are the videos, but at the minute I'm trying to bring you a June haul maybe once a week and the same with wish But it all depends on how the shipping goes so the first item I've got is a women's retro gothic velvet rhinestone heart pendant choker collar necklace. So if that isn't hard enough for you to say, I don't know what is. Um, this came in a range of colours, if I remember rightly. So we've got black, blue, pink, brown, red and white. The necklace itself is a bit cheap. But then I only paid 48p for it, so what do you expect? Um, so this is the choker necklace. So it's got a little extender, which is always good to see on a choker necklace. Um, because you want it to, some people like it to sit so it's like that. Some people like it right up on your neck, so it's all individual tastes. Then we have the little heart here. Which is just a heart pendant and it's just. Um, and then you've got this velvet thing there and then obviously um, you do it up and it would go just like this and you'd have it hang so you can either have it hang by having it loose or you can have it right on your neck um, this was 48p um, so what do you expect for 48p um, yeah um, the velvet's all right doesn't look too shabby um, and obviously it's plastic so I mean, it's just a bit of jewellery to have. Um, I saw it and thought, ooh, 48p. Can't go wrong with 48p. So I got that. Then the next item I got, i just get you the information. I love to bring you the information because then you get to know a lot more about the product um, than just me showing it to you and you get more details. So this is a stainless steel potato square cutter fries slicer and this was a pound and obviously there's no shipping. Um, it came in a range of colours so we had orange, blue and green and the idea is, is I won't open it because it's sharp but you have it like this. So you've got these little handles here that you hold on to and you press it down over a potato and the idea is it then cuts it into chips. Because I get, I don't mind doing potatoes, um, but I hate trying to cut them into chips. I suck at it. So I got this. So you've got this steel grate. And the idea is you get your potato once it's being peeled and you stick it like that. Or if you want to make wedgies, obviously you just push it down and it will make wedgies. And then you just push it down and then you'll get little thin chips or you'll get chips as big as these holes. So you get nice sized chips. So that was just a pound. Um, it's just to save me time in the kitchen from having to slice them. You know, it, it, it's hard being a mum. Hard being a mum of children. You, you need to find extra time that you don't have. Um, so the next item is something that's close to my heart. Um, and this is a fashion royal 
British Legion Diamond Crystal Poppy Flower Brooch Pin oh, to get a mouthful again. And this was a pound. And there were different pins that you could get. So if I just show you, there's a variety of pins. So they were the different ones you could get. And I actually picked up this one right here. Just there. Um, and this was a pound. Um, and in the UK, we have Remembrance Day. I don't know um, if anywhere else in the world has it. But it's called Remembrance Day. And we had these poppies um, that we buy. And I've actually been a poppy seller as well and gone around and collected for the British Legion at one time or another. Um, so you get the poppy and then you've got the leaf and then you've got the things so you can attach it to your clothes so I can pin it instead of having the plastic ones, which I think um, probably get thrown away more than you like to think. Um, but I got this one. There was a, a selection of different ones but I thought this was more to the true liking of the poppy um, and it was a bit less in your face this is just a nice simple one um, so these were just the pound and like I said there were six different types um, but I liked this one so that's my British Legion poppy I buy a poppy every year for my granddad and for my nan um, so I've got one like this now, so um, we can save on the plastic poppies because um, they, they do take up a lot of waste and I'm sure they they fall off your clothes more often than you like to admit because you put the pin in and you just stick it through and more often than not they just, they just fall out to be honest. Um, the next item is in here. And this is the Max Donis Eyebrow Powder. And it's got three colours in. Now these were, depending on which one it is, they were either a pound or two pound, but I won't know until I open the box because I have to see the colour. So they come in these little boxes, so they're really good travel size ones. I've never done anything with my brows, so this will be interesting at some point to do some swatchings of these. So this one was... Um, a pound, I think. Hang on. Yes, this one was a pound, I believe. Might be one pound, it might be two pound. I'll tell you once I've um, looked at the rest. So, this is the color. So, you've got a dark brown, a light brown, and then you've got a lighter color. So, then for me, you see this kind of color or this kind of color. And I guess the idea is that you just brush over your brows to fill them in. My brows aren't too bad they're lacking in a bit of color but they do kind of match my hair so that was the first one the second brow palette i have again is from the same make uh, but these are three different colors and this one is the more darker color so this one is definitely two pounds these are the darker colors so you've got the kind of chocolate kind of mocha and then you've got this nice kind of gray black color in each of them you also got a brush which is nice and then there is a third one and in this one again you've got three colors and it's all all eyebrow powder and then this eyebrow powder one I can open it which looks like this was two pounds. So this one was two pounds. So you've got a dark color, a middle color, and then you've got a light color. So this was two pounds, and so were these two. So these two were two pounds. That was two pounds each. There were the two colors. And the lighter one I managed to get for just a pound. So we've got three different palettes. This is the first one, which was a pound. You've got the second one, which is the darker colours, um, which was two pounds. And they each came with a brush, which is good. And then the very dark palette, which was two pounds, has this really dark brown in there. So they were the three palettes. The two darkest ones were two pounds. And I managed to search hard enough to find the other one for a pound. 
but I couldn't find the rest for a pound. Um, but they are Max Donis eyebrow powders in three different colours. Um, so instead of just buying one and hoping for the best that they would suit my eyebrows, I decided to buy all three. And what we will do is we will do a swatching of these eyebrow colours at some point. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you want to check out all my other makeup swatchings, I'll leave a playlist at the end and I'll also leave a June playlist as well if you want to watch more of my June hauls. So that was everything. We had the three eyeshadow palettes, we had the British Legion pin, we had the heart necklace and we had the potato slicer. So a bit of everything there. Bit of a mix match from jewellery to makeup to household. So... If you like this video, please like and subscribe, check out my June haul and I will also link my makeup hauls as well at the bottom so that you can take a look at them. If you love this channel, please like and subscribe, keep an eye out for more June and wish hauls, check out all my playlists, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you very soon for another haul. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye!